Hello everybody and welcome to another night for 13 nights of Halloween. Hi! We're going to talk about our trick or treating stories and how Halloween was from childhood. childhood. From childhood. Childhood people. Yes, that's what it's called now. Apparently, adolescence is just too difficult to say. <laughs> Evidently childhood is too hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> I only remember two instances of trick-or-treating. I have a really bad memory. <laughs> the first one is actually the first trick-or-treating experience I remember. Nice. It's when my brother was in the hospital, but he was able to be out of his bed. Mm -hmm. And he could like roll around in his wheelchair. Because mm -hmm. my brother just had two broken legs. A whole lot of other issues, but that was what was preventing him from walking around. Mm -hmm. But he was in his wheelchair and he was, super, he was in the Superman costume. Because it was the only thing that could go over his cast. To like stretch over it, and we still have that. Mm -hmm. And That's then precious. I was Ariel, but I was like land Ariel, but not pink dress. I just had like purple, and I was Ariel, and you could go around to different parts of the hospital and trick or treat. That's Aww. so cute. I have a memory kind of like that because my mom works. She's a nurse, right? So she works in the hospital, and so one um, Halloween, I don't remember what I dressed up as or what she dressed me up as because I was probably like six years old. But um, she took me to the hospital daycare because she was working. Well, she was working, and they were having the hol or the hospital was having a Halloween festival for the kids. So it was kind of like a bring your kid to work day to celebrate Halloween. It was really fun. So I went, and it was kind of the same thing. You could just walk around all of the like different areas of the hospital, and like the nurses would a couple of the nurses would come with you, and they would be in their scrubs, and so this would be like their costumes for all the little kids. It was super, super adorable. Was it a children's hospital? It wasn't a children's hospital. Okay. It was just a regular hospital. Yeah. Mine was, was a really children's fun. hospital. It's cute though, like what yeah. they... And then for the kids who couldn't the kids, get out of their you know? bed because Jack was in like the critical yeah. condition floor. Yeah. Like those kids can't get out of their beds. Yeah. But, so they brought candy to them. That's so cute. Or maybe that was just my mom taking me to bring them candy because... I don't remember anyone else doing it, but I would just, because I'd go around and visit them anyway. Aww! I was adorable. five and my brother was hospitalized. I had nothing. Yeah. Yay. These kids can't go get candy. I'll bring them candy. I'll bring them I candy. I am the justice system. Oh my goodness. I don't have any stories like that. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember when those fires broke out and we all had to like wear like those mask things. Oh yeah! The cedar fire. Oh yeah. my gosh. The Your mask. When, and it was raining down ash yeah, like you could, during the month of October. We weren't allowed to go to school for like most of October. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was pretty funny and whenever you would go outside like my mom would do it to me. She would make me wear the little surgical mask so that you didn't breathe in ash. Basically, it was crazy. for October our town was Pompeii. When yeah, our was town that? was just on fire. I don't remember, like, when, like, it how was, old were we? It was, we were younger. I remember being in elementary school. It was school. 12 years ago. Yeah. That's a It was the 2004 ago. Cedar Fires. Wow. Our really? town was Pompeii. Yeah. Oh, my God. I remember, I hearing you guys' nurse's story, I'm like, I don't really have a nurse story. All I remember, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Our mask. town ignited. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, like, That's all these, funny. like, brush fires, like, not more than brush fires. Really big fire! Started as a brush fire and then it just wasn't it like two years in a row. Spread. It was the bad one was first and then there was like a minor one. But there's brush fires every year in October. Yeah, because that's just fire season. Santa Anna winds. Yeah. In Why did this you area. lick me? I just remembered that and I what? remembered like me and Britt, like we all to like make our costumes work because we didn't want to be anything else mm -hmm. that wouldn't affect our aesthetic. So right. we decided to be like doctor like. Zombie doctors and nurses. That's and stuff. so funny. That's really awesome, actually. Because I really didn't want to wear it's a princess creative. outfit. I remember telling my mom, like, that's so stupid to wear my princess outfit with the mask on. Yeah, that's true. So let's just be doctors. I don't think I went to retreat. <laughs> if not, we might have gone just up to Utah instead. Hmm. I don't remember. Did yeah. you trick or treat during that? I can't remember. I think. That was one of the years that my mom took me to like one of the nice neighborhoods to trick or treat. Fucking safe! Yes. Yeah, Our town doesn't have any sidewalks. <laughs> Literally, there are like maybe two sidewalks. 
Oh my gosh, so we would literally have to, it happened a couple different times, we would um, get in the car, we would get all dressed up for Halloween, and we would get in the car and we would drive to one of my friend's neighborhoods that actually had sidewalks and that had like, everybody would decorate for Halloween, and everybody would just like be ready to hand out candy. It was one of the like popular Halloween neighborhoods, so we would just go there and trick or treat and you would get like bomb candy, like full like candy bars. bars. Yeah, for sure. It was super fun. So I think she might have done that for me on the year that we couldn't like go out and actually walk around and breathe. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we did too. So we'd go like trick or treating in mm -hmm. like the Navy houses. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Because my uncle was in the Navy. He was stationed here before he left to Germany. Mm -hmm. So he would like we would trick or treat in that neighborhood, and it was like all nice candy. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's super cool. We like. Like the with the fires and stuff, we made sure we trick or treated like while it was like still sun out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember if Jack was actually still in the hospital. <laughs> but the story I was gonna tell, yeah, was not really like a story, but like every year before we went trick or treating, we'd come home because we went to school and then we took the bus to school because we went to La Jolla mm -hmm. and. La Jolla. Um, for those of you who don't know, we're not San Diego natives. La Jolla is the richest part of San Diego. It's down by the beach, so it's probably about half an hour drive from where we are right now, where the area that we live in. We're um, in the glades the and their star city. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. So yeah, we would get home and my dad would be playing Halloween, mm -hmm. like the scary movie Halloween. Oh, as oh well. geez. So I already have like really bad bad memories with the stupid Michael Myers mask. Every year for Halloween, we'd get home from school and my dad would be playing the movie Halloween before we go trick-or-treating. So like, we'd finish the movie Halloween like, all right kids, let's go outside in the night and go trick-or-treating. So my dad's a genius. Your dad's a douche. <laughs> trick-or-treat stories? Halloween stories, Hannah? I was sexually harassed in the eighth grade. Fun. It wasn't really sexually harassed, it was just a dumb thing. Where I don't think, like, people realize that me and my friend were in the 8th grade. Cause like, what? Cause people in middle school don't necessarily trick treat. It's elementary school kids and then high schoolers who f want free candy. Fucking same. But like, we were doing it cause Jack obviously was trick or treating. So we were with, it was me and my friend Julia, and we were, and it was supposed to be the nice neighborhood. Like literally this was the neighborhood around our church. <sighs> and we were trick or treating, and I was Little Red Riding Hood. Obviously, kind of slutty little red riding head. Everyone's slutty anything. Okay, and she was a slutty ballerina. And then we. I had obviously like the white knee high socks, and then she had like tights, and we were fixing our tights, and we didn't realize like we were bent over, like facing the street. We were trying to stand between two cars because we knew that like obviously that was gonna. So we're doing that, and all of a sudden the car goes honk honk, and then a guy goes, yeah! All the way down the street till he turns. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. It was. <laughs> it was. I was like, uh, okay. It was also her birthday, so. But it was just a weird. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Some guy honked at us when we bent over. I remember because you and Jacob. Jacob were and I were Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Yeah. Well, he was a werewolf. But. Not cute. Not cute, he bitched and moaned about the makeup the entire time. I was like, okay, you're furry, but you're not that furry. Like, I had to give him, like, the little, like, widow's peak and, yeah. like, the nose and, like, he, the, he, that was when he shaved his chest hair. So, like, it wasn't, like, whoosh. Not like usual? It wasn't not like werewolf. It wasn't werewolf, so I, like, just took a stifling brush and, like, painted hair on him. I was like, bitch, look at how much makeup I'm wearing. You remember that's when I had like the smoky red eyeshadow? Yeah. Halloween stories, Hannah? I don't remember. Last year I was Red Hood from Pretty Little Liars. Best costume ever. I thought that out for months. But the, the issue with that costume was what? is Red Hood wears black skinny jeans, she wears heeled boots. A big red raincoat, and she has long blonde hair. I had maybe shoulder length blonde hair, and then it was October in Southern California, so it is 90 degrees all day. And then it's freezing as fuck at night. Yep. But, so I was at Disneyland in heels, in black jeans, in a big heavy raincoat, and hair extensions, because I didn't have long enough blonde hair to like peek out from the hood. Yeah. 
So I was in that all day, literally all day. Terrible. And fine. And I even wore like fuzzy socks and like Dr. Scholl's like amped up. Like, like pretty much Dr. Scholl's for old people. To like at least try to protect my feet and even then it was like dull throbbing of my feet and we were in line for a time of share and Jacob's like, you know what, fuck it. And just like literally like fireman carrying me the whole time because he's my feet were killing me, and we still had the uh, mad tea party to go to because like they zombified themselves yeah. around Halloween time, and, like they played Halloween music, and so we went over. God, mad tea party. <laughs> but like he's like, you have to be able to dance. You're if we sit because it was a standing line, so it literally like you and you know the top tower. There's nowhere to sit. All the fences are spiky, and you can't sit on the floor. Spiky. And like. So he just carried me, he's like, okay, if you stand in this, your feet will die. So he wanted me to be able to dance later. So. What a good boyfriend. That is a very good boyfriend. There's actually, I think, a picture of me on Twitter. Or maybe. I think I have it in here, but I'm like... <sighs> and I'm dying, and like, my my hair looked great, but like... The makeup's just sweating no, off you. It's not sweating. I had a shit ton of settings spray right on. But like, the eyes like just look so dead. Like, I look so dead inside. And like, I just- I mean outside. I looked great outside. Exactly! That's the point. You looked great outside, but you could see the pain and the death <laughs> radiating out that. through your eyes. I was all hunched over and like- uh, By that time I was thankful for the red coat and like stuff, so, cause uh, my mom was freezing, cause that's when she was the Day of the Dead thing up. Which again, I'm still like, Mom, that's not an okay the thing to do! And she's like, why not? I'm like, you white. What? <laughs> but- Oh my god. Jack at least- took off his mask, so then he was just a scary, like, skull thingy underneath, but, like, he had his tuxedo jacket, so he was thankful for that, but Jacob and my mom were in, like, t-shirts and a dress, and they were freezing, and I'm yeah. like, bitches, you cold, <laughs> I'm not, and now I'm going this year as Lady General Hux, basically, and I'm gonna hit on Kylo and make him uncomfortable. Nope. Nice. I'm gonna have to find a beanie baby of an orange cat though, because they've confirmed that Hux has a ginger little cat. So oh I'm my like, god! I need one. Just go. <laughs> I remember a couple years ago, I had it was okay. So I had a Halloween party that I was planning on going to, but <clears throat> and since we live in the lakeside rodeo frickin' <laughs> yeehaw part of, of San Diego, um, there was the country fest <gasps> being oh. held at the Lakeside Rodeo Grounds the same night in October as the Halloween party that me and my friend were supposed to go to. So we both went to the country fest before the Halloween party, and so we were dressed up like frickin' We were dressed up like, you know, like you would go to a rodeo or a country concert Slay or whatever. Rodeo. Slay Cowboys! Woo! So we decided to just go to the Halloween party afterwards as Slutty Cowgirls. Jesus. Put absolutely no effort in, just look great, and borrow a hat. And so, yeah, that's what we did. And it was pretty fun. It was a fun night. Oh, yep. Yeah. So, when I was younger, my mom wouldn't, like, go to Party City and buy me, like, the whatever $40, like, kid costumes. She would just put it together with the stuff, the costume stuff that we had at our house most of the time, and we would get, like, main pieces normally. But when I was younger, I would normally be, like, a vampire or a witch or, like, whatever, you know? And so she would dress me in this black dress, this long black dress. And I would either have like a black cape or a purple cape or a red cape. <laughs> and if I was a vampire, she would do my makeup so that I looked dead and she would do like the red makeup on me for the blood. And if I was a witch, she would just make sure that I had a hat. And it, for some reason, it was always super cute. Like she always made it look totally awesome. And I was like, Mom, you literally Can just you are so me? cheap. How do you make me look so good for Halloween? I look back at the pictures and I'm just like, that was actually really cute. I found the picture. Uh, oh, from you looking dead? Oh, oh my look how God. dead inside I am. Look, sweetie. 
I just look at her eyes. I look oh dead as fuck inside. Yeah. I look yeah. great, but I look dead. I look great outside, oh but... You look dead. Very. Well, I also have pictures of when I looked good. Oh, oh yeah! Let me see this. That's me and Jack. Jack's oh adorable. my gosh! You guys look so great! And then there's Jacob. Look at Jacob! Wow. wow. And then there's my mom and my brother. Oh my god! So adorable! I did her makeup. That's, That's awesome. fantastic. My costume this year's a lot hotter than that one. Not like hotter like sexy actually is, but like... <laughs> okay, I'm wearing a corset top that makes me like... Totally have Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson! Pamela Anderson, wow! Damn, that's a that <laughs> that's one heck of a shirt. That's one heck of a. I had to wear I had to wear an undershirt like or at least like a bralette underneath because if it unzips in the front. Woo! Hey, what's up, guys? No, because it literally zips in the front and it's so tight. I'm like, if I breathe in this thing, it'll be like, whoosh, pop. <laughs> I mean that tight so leather top. Just, Mm -hmm. That's happy. Like, he's happy. 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 If you can free no. up your schedule and get a cool costume, sure. Yeah. Thank you. I got money now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Figure out a cool costume. You can match me, Jack, Jack and I are literally Kylo Ren and General Hux. Nice. Damn, can I just be BB-8? Yes. BB-8? <laughs> you should get one of the BB-8 dresses that they sell at um, oh, Hot Topic and just wander around. around. <laughs> just walk around they behind them. Literally oh, just follow them. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do John Ralphio impressions. That so no, we cannot. One of the worst costumes, I, it's not the worst costume, just the most frustrating one, mm -hmm. is because I like dressing up with my boyfriend, like doing the matchy thing, you know? Yeah. Because it's fun. And so cheesy. Well, yeah, it, but it's, it's fun. fun. It's cute. It's, it symbolizes our relationship. Like, we're together. You're Ash Pikachu. Okay, let me tell you about that. Let I me tell you about know. No, no, no. I no. really don't want to know. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. Um, well, we couldn't agree on anything last year because everything I wanted to be, he was like, no. <laughs> what did you want to be? Okay, so I was like suggesting like, ooh, babe, what if we were Han Solo and Leia? And like, cause I wanted to wear like the, like the yep, one way outfit. Thing. Yeah. yeah, the sleigh outfit. And he's like, no. I'm like, okay, fine. Well, and then the okay, next fine. One. And then I'm like, oh, let's be something from Halo. I can be Cortana, and you can be that. And he's like, no. I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck? Well, what well, do you want to do then? Yeah, and Zach, at this point, I'll just be couples costumes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Fuck you. And like he shot down everything I had. Like we can do something from like the video games and stuff. I'm like, oh, let's just dress up from like Battlefield One. And he's oh, well, at the time, Battlefield Four. He's like, no. Nah. I'm like, well, what the fuck? I want to, come on, work with me. And he's mm -hmm. like, you didn't like anything where my costume was sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to be sexy. All right. And the only Garrison person let her be Jessica Rabbit. That which, was Garrison. Which was flawless. Oh my god, I love no, Jessica that Rabbit. That's like my favorite. That is my favorite Christy costume ever. Picture here. Yeah, Jessica this. Rabbit was pretty great. Yeah. And I, I really do, it was funny because that year I was Jessica Rabbit because, I mean, couples' costumes are cute, but I've reached the point in my relationship with Garrison where I'm like, you go ahead and do you, I'll do me because you're too lazy to do anything and I want to have something cool. So that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So that's why I was Jessica Rabbit and he bought, it was, pre it was pretty was cute. It he bought, yeah, he bought a Mario, oh. no, it was a Mario. He oh. bought a Mario costume from um, Party City and it was really cute awesome. because I posted a picture of us together and it was on Instagram, and the caption was really adorable, but I don't remember what it says now. Oh, so, why don't we go ahead and look it up? Yeah, no, he only agreed yeah. to the Ash and Pikachu thing <laughs> if I was in a onesie. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Sexy Pikachu. I oh, God. Sexy Pikachu. oh, God. That, I don't ever want to see that. Pikachu How would that make necessary? Sexy Pikachu? Go watch, a video, go watch Child well, of Dirty costumes on BuzzFeed. Oh. Um, but for younger costumes, but for younger costumes, uh, my mom always had us matching, mm -hmm. and so all the whole family, all five of us, all five of my siblings, were all matching. He can save this misunderstood princess any day. Oh, because he was Mario, who normally.
normally say is peach, peach, but I wasn't peach. I was Jessica Rabbit. Sexy peach. I love that. I'm just drawn that way. Exactly. I love Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, you should just like. I'm gonna send you to see him as all of the pictures as Roger Rabbit. I'll send you all of the pictures from my Instagram of me as Jessica Rabbit because my captions are pretty adorable. Yes, looking under yoga. Sorry about it. So, but yeah, so my mom always had us dress up the same and like Mm -hmm. matchy matchy. Like we all had a theme. Uh, When Rod the year Rodney was born, we were a full house, and we were all dressed in all black. And my mom made these like cardboard things where they had like the front on the front and back of us there was like our card a playing card a playing card yeah card yeah because they we, were like, a we're full, full house. house i found a picture of me and Jacob. Okay, easy. it wasn't we me it was my mom like, thanks so yeah. we weren't matching last year but technically we were a pair because he was a good guy and i was a bad guy so okay been nice been nice <laughs> <laughs> they're a full house this is fantastic. Well, this is just the greatest. Hold on. That's amazing. It's not even a full house. Yes, it, it is. is. There's three and two. Oh, okay. That's a full house. You have two of the same house. house. Yeah, Rodney is still in his cage. Or not cage. <laughs> his stroller. <laughs> his stroller. <laughs> in the cage. He just got thrown in a cage. And you know we're a Mexican family when we're using the ice cream buckets for our fucking trick-or-treat bags? Hey, I freaking used a pillowcase every single year every starting single when I was like Exactly. Exactly. Like, oh exactly. That is the point. When I was ready, I didn't have like a little basket. Yeah, I'm not the worst. worst to last you all the years. I wish I had a next time freaking week. sleeping bag. I had a basket when I was literally sleeping bag. I went to two neighborhoods. I had I it at shit. school. That was my that was my backpack. I literally had my books because I had a huge ass basket. Yeah. I had my makeup in there for touch ups, and I had my like normal middle school stuff. Awesome. And like then, one notebook. No, I had and then I had it when I went to. <laughs> it was hilarious going through security at Disneyland with a basket. Because, like, normally I found Zip Lighter stuff and I literally just, like, pulled back my little handkerchief, my little checkered handkerchief. I, I had a checkered handkerchief. And then they're like, they Aww. just saw that it was makeup and then, like, my lanyard. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, proceed. proceed. Oh, jeez. Um, that's so adorable. But every year, me and Brittany would always dress the same. Because my mom yeah. loved. Because we're the only twins on both sides of my parents' family. Yeah. And so she liked to milk it. And even every day, we'd always wear the exact same thing. Up until we were like in fourth or fifth grade, we're like, Mom, please let us dress Aww. ourselves. Oh, jeez. So she let us, not let us, she made us dress the same every year. And like, okay, I don't remember like, what, I do yeah, I don't remember what Halloween it was, but we were a peanut. <laughs> um, there was like this big ass <laughs> peanut costume. When we were like, I don't know how old we were, and we were the two nuts. Did you like a Siamese cat or something? I don't know. Like a Cinderella story? I don't know. She she made us do a bunch of shit. Or the two cats from Lady and the Tramp? Well, no, I meant like a costume. This costume, it was this giant big ass fucking peanut, and we were the little nuts inside the peanut shell, Mm -hmm. and we couldn't walk at that time, so they just wheeled us around in a wagon, my mom and my aunt and niece. So adorable. And yeah, this is us. Oh my god, look at them! Aww. That's the handle for the wagon. Oh my oh gracious. God. That is ridiculous. That's we there was walk. so much effort put into that costume. My mom puts a lot of effort. That is amazing. Oh, That is just absolutely fantastic. You guys are so adorable. And the little two little twinsies in your peanut wagon. We were we nuts. Around for you we were good. I did it. Trick or treating. <laughs> oh, what are you guys say? Is, what are you guys thinking about for? I know you don't have your costume, but what are you guys thinking about for Halloween? I know you said you're being general. Lady Hux. General Hux. Yes. Christy. I'm thinking because I'm really cheap and I don't want to buy a like crazy whatever what costume. <laughs> I'm thinking of being a cat. Burglar, because I have a black and white striped dress. Okay, so I can wear that, and I have little cat ears already, and then I can just wear like a black or a white mask or something, and carry around a little bag with like a big money sign on it. <laughs> exactly. I fucking love you. She's obsessed with cats. I hope you know. Yeah. She didn't know that. If you so she, she didn't, didn't already it. know, you should subscribe because you already know. <laughs> you should already know. I yeah, that mask. Awesome. You look cute. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was going. I wanted to be a couple things. Zach wanted to be that uh, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, in which 
me, I'm like, oh, that's going to be hard for me to be Tinkerbell because her dress is like, absolutely expensive and like just finding, like I'm going to be picky about finding like the perfect green. So I was yeah. like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then so and then I would have picked it. it apart because because Peter Pan is her thing. Because Peter Pan. Um, we were going to be, I was going to be Enchantress and Zach was going to be um, the army dude. Um, Rick, Rick Flag. Flag. Rick Flag, yeah, bleeds red, white, and blue. <laughs> but then I... Uh, I gathered myself and I was like, Brianna, you can't pull off Enchantress. Yeah, you can. Oh You're my crazy. goodness. No, I can't. You're crazy. One, I don't have the body. And two, her costume pieces, I'm like, okay, I can't think I can do it, like, right away. I think, like, the closest I can do is, like, get, like, a black bralette and, mm -hmm. like, not spankies, but, like, spankies. Yeah. What you could do is you could do, like, a, not, like, more modest, but, like, modified version of Enchantress because remember when at that one point where she like gets the ultimate power and she's like in that black dress you could do that Enchantress and then like mix the two Enchantresses together and still do like the you could literally not wash your hair for a week and be set yep <laughs> maybe now I have to think about it because we were going to be Freddy and Jason I was going to be Freddy Krueger oh, that's and pretty just, cute actually that's kind of cute I was just going to get like the that. red and green striped long sleeve crop top and yeah wear these jeans and then just the thing. And like a hat. A hat. I have the hat. Ooh! Easy peasy because I'm cheap! <laughs> yeah! I also have the mask. Nice. I don't want the mask. I'll, no, no, no. I'm just going to do like fucking flesh. Like flushed. the hand thing. Just, just like with latex? Yeah. I also have the hand things. Can uh, I borrow those? Cause. I'll ask Jack. Or you can ask Jack. I'll ask Jack when we go to decorate your house. <laughs> okay. But that's the cheapest and best option for me. He also has Jason. Nice. He has two Jason masks and he has a jacket. Nice. I think Zach was going to use like a green jacket. Uh, I'll ask well, Zach what he wants to do. Okay. Well, he can borrow the Jason mask. He also has a machete. He also has Zach a machete. Zach really wants a machete. No. I know. He can borrow no. Jack's. It's, it's spray painted wood. It's made cool. of wood. Alright, so this is our Halloween stories. So. That's been our Halloween stories, guys. Hope you enjoyed listening you to us. You got nothing from me. <laughs> Hannah yeah, Hannah doesn't do Halloween. I do, you but I literally can't bring any memories up because they're weird. You don't they're have any surprised. favorite costumes? Favorite costumes? Last year, because about. I didn't have to wear that many clothes. <laughs> what were you last year? Uh, what were you? Risky business. Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh my the, the, like, gosh. I do that on the sh Literally. That's fantastic. So I button up and like the... Thank you. Nice. You're brawling now. Yeah. I really hope we have a hardwood floor in your apartment because I'm planning <laughs> to do that when you guys are all out. That's fine. Oh, I, I don't even care if you guys are out or not. I'm doing it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm literally. Okay, is it wrong that I'm picturing like you're doing like one of your Brianna reactions and then like suddenly in the background I just slide by? Yeah. You don't even like pay attention. You're just like. Oh. I wouldn't. And then keep going like <laughs> and there. I wouldn't care. I just keep sliding just the whole way. Just slide in and out of frame. Yes. I like that old tower rock and roll. <laughs>